blurbs. We got a thing here from Germany, I think. Yeah. Come on. The Fun Generation RTA 31. Yeah. You might have seen this on Techmon. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be an upgrade. <laughs> Significantly. Uh. Okay. Well, there was a Windows 98 computer doing things in there. I guess it's doing things. And, and, and uh, that's that. Hi, Windows 98. Anyway, what was I saying? We're going to open this. And this is going to go in my uh, MIDI Mountain. Which is right there. So, yeah. I had this crappy little equalizer in there because I wanted something that uh, just basically showed some visuals, like a spectrum analyzer. <laughs> but the one I put in there in that project, if you saw it on LGR, it was terrible. And it was cheap, so whatever. Um, ended up getting rid of that and ordered this after seeing it on Techmoon's video. Of course, they were back ordered for a while. Anyway, it finally showed up. Let's take a look at it. And this, instead of doing any uh, shifty equalization that may or may not affect the audio, this is just like a straight passive pass-through thing that I believe whether or not it's active, you're still going to have audio just go straight through it. It's not affecting it. And then it's got visuals. So I'm excited to put this in there and ignore this paperwork. <laughs> Oh yeah, like just already the build quality is about a thousand times better. So that's cool. A little Euro plug there. The other one didn't even have like proper uh, rack mount ears or anything. <laughs> it was just the worst. This one does have those feet on there. I'm going to take those off because that'll make it too thick to fit in the Midi Rack Mountain, but yeah, look at that. Dude. Yeah, that looks awesome. If you've seen this on uh, the video where Tecmo showed it off, I just think it looks uh, fantastic. So I'm impressed just seeing it on video, and I'm hoping I'll be even more impressed in person. So yeah, it literally is just a spectrum analyzer, and it's got XLR in and out, which is great because that's what I'm using over there. So I don't have to use different types of cables or anything like I was with the other one. So yeah, sweet, simple enough. Let me just get these little feet off of there and I'll install it in the MIDI Rack Mountain and we'll try it out. See what it's like to analyze some spectrums. Got the MIDI rack mountain here, and then we're just gonna insert that down there where that awful equalizer used to be. And yeah, I've also swapped out the Akai that was in here for a Korg, an O5RW. So that, yeah, it's more in line with the aesthetic of the rest of the unit, you know, the blacks and the grays and all the uh, darker tones going on instead of that one that was kind of standing out for being like just cream colored, blah. And I also uh, wasn't terribly fond of its sound. I, I like this a little bit better. Whatever, though. Let's get this inserted in here. <laughs> because this is a proper, you know, rag-mounted thing, unlike the other one, this should be a lot easier to get in, and it is already. I see that the, the holes are actually lining up and stuff, too, which is nice. The other one never really lined up. All right, that's that. And it is looking awesome, even just sitting there not doing anything. <laughs> uh, I quite like the green on the end of the knobs there. I don't see too many green knobs, green and gray. Oh yeah, I also changed the, uh, the cool crab to like a transparent background one instead of on a white background. Just makes it blend in a little better. It is still pretty reflective, so. I was selling those on Redbubble, and <laughs> somebody went in there and claimed all of the crabs and the LGR logos and the things that I put it out, like you know, the World Peace, all, all kinds of different things that I had on there. Flagged all of them as being 
inappropriate or like offensive content and Redbubble just deleted my entire storefront and gave me no recourse to get it back. They just deleted it all. There wasn't even a notification. My account is like the email's banned. <laughs> I can't I can't get it back. So whatever, Redbubble's gone. I do have a Cafe Press shop, but whatever. That's beside the point. Let's get back to this thing. All right, so still got the power cord in here, I believe from that other device. So stick that right there. And use an XLR cable. A couple of them, I yeah. Going from uh, the mixer to the Spectrum Analyzer. He has about as short of an XLR cable as I have. I think this is three feet, so yeah. I'll get it up in cable ties like I have all the rest of this sometime later. Okay, that's that. I'm just going to be using RCA to three and a half mil audio for the output, just because I usually plug this into uh, some standard computer speakers or home audio system, like a 3 point or 2.1 thing, three speaker kind of setup. And that's that. All this going out to here. And I've got MIDI cable to control all the stuff. Yeah, you can see the main video on LGR about this for much more, of course. All right. There we go, that's looking excellent. Let's get it powered on. Oh yeah. We'll just start it at about 12 o'clock there and we'll adjust from that point onward. I'm trying to remember how to run the demo on, on this one, that'd be fun to do. Just because I don't have a computer in here right now to run MIDI. Let me check the manual. Playing a demo song. Let's see. Combi and edit keys simultaneously. Aha! It is plugged in, right? <laughs> okay, couldn't figure out why the audio wasn't coming out of there. It was showing a display when I was testing it just now, uh, and it turns out I can't use that cable that I was going to use going to a three and a half mil through the RCA out on there. It turns out if you plug in an input to either one of them, that's the only output it's going to go to. So I was plugging input to XLR and output through the RCA analog out on here, and it wouldn't send audio out. It's only sending XLR to out if you plug it in XLR. Plug it in the RCA one, then you get RCA out. So that's what I've done. I'm just going XLR to RCA anyway. Now it's working. That's a little weird. So I'm going to have to switch around some cables for more permanent setup. All right. So yeah, that's the demo song from the Korg playing there. And it's just kind of halfway over here in the settings. So crank up the sensitivity, get more activity at lower volume. And of course I got the demo just for, uh, you know, <laughs> dimming. That's that. That's all you get on here. Yep. This is excellent. <laughs> it's exactly what I was hoping for and wanted. 
with that other one and didn't get at all. You know, that didn't even, that just had a fake spectrum analyzer. It wasn't actually analyzing any spectrums. So this is actually showing the volume levels of each individual segment of the audio going through it, which is great. And it looks awesome. That bright glowing green, fantastic with the, all the other green things that are on here. So uh, yeah, awesome recommendation by Tecmon and a, a very happy purchase for me. Thanks for watching.